So now I'm going to open them for the very first time. I'm a little scared. I don't know what I'm expecting, but I'm excited. Okay. So I know what LeBron's looks like. But with Peach, I was a little apprehensive. I think she said this, they're both obviously, you know, they can be worked for any tone. But I think she was saying that this was more for fair. So I'm kind of scared on how this might pull up on me. Um, Hey guys welcome back to my channel and so in today's video I'm going to be doing a review on the artist couture and Jackie Aina collab I'm going to be showing you how to use it in four different ways so if you're interested please keep on watching so these are the highlighters I got these over a little like a month two months ago um, probably when they first came out but I was waiting on other things to make sure this video was perfect uh, they did come with this bag actually just looking at it I love the penmanship I have this weird fascination with graphology even though it's a pseudoscience Science. I think uh, our handwriting uh, says a lot about who we are as people so love that I also love rose gold is with like the rest of tumblr so these retail at uh, I think I got the whole set including the bag for like 55 and I think uh, per ounce considering that it is 4.5 grams it comes up to almost six well seven dollars per gram so not bad for what you're getting you are getting loose highlight highlighters which i was kind of apprehensive with because normally with everyone else i don't really use loose highlighters but now that i'm factoring in the fact that it's a 4.5 grams and the fact that uh, it might be so versatile to use i think it is a great purchase um i did see swatches of what lebron's already looked like but i was a little bit apprehensive of the peach because because she did say it was for fairer skin it might show up a little bit lighter on me okay so for this look i really wanted to do a focus on one of the highlights and i thought that i would mix it with duraline by inklot and i would mix this with lebron's to make a liquid liner yes a liquid liner i think it's just that pigmented just off of first glance I think it will be absolutely beautiful. So with the eyeshadow look, I'm going to do something somewhat of a spotlight, smoky type situation because I really want to put a strong emphasis on LeBron's as that highlighter, hopefully carrying this eyeshadow look. 
Okay, so to start off the eyeshadow look, I'm going to actually take this MAC Prep and Prime Stick and I'm going to do some color correcting on my eyelids. I know they aren't the worst, but for some reason, if I don't do this, concealer isn't strong enough as a base. What they'll do is they'll actually pull gray. I don't know if you guys are having that issue. If you are, we should start a like a support group. Take a little bit out on a beauty blender, just blend it out. Okay, so now that that is on, I'm going to take a MAC Match Master. And this color is in uh, NW45 for reference. Take a little bit now on a mixing pad. So I'm taking that as my base. And I'm actually gonna do like a little slight eyebrow carving out. You know what I thought about I, when I actually uh, found that that Jackie was having another clap? Because I know she did one with Elf, yeah, but I'm pretty sure it was Elf in this one. Comment down below if I'm wrong. <laughs> I was thinking how crazy it would have been to see this collab when I first started doing makeup. I'm talking like before, like bad eyebrow, like when I first got started and Jackie was going by Little Pumpkin Pie 05, how much this would have gassed me to see like a woman of color, you know, with the like major collab. Like that, the thought of that alone is just, it's crazy, even now. But man, that would have impacted me. A lot. And then with the beauty blender, just kind of blending it out a little bit. So now I'm going to go in with Amande. I feel like someone should make a video of Jackie Iron is saying Amande. Like a whole minute of Jackie saying Amande. So then I'm going to take some of the La Mercier setting powder and a Morphe M510 brush and I'm going to take this right on that lid. So now I'm going to take my Jaclyn Hill palette, a clean E40 brush and I feel like I'm loving on this brown right here, that shade. I'm going to put that right in my crease. And what I like to do, because I'm a doodle bop, I like to go back in with a clean brush, and this just so happens to be the Sigma E35 brush. And I like to diffuse colors as I place them down, especially when I'm opting for a very natural eye look. I wanna make sure that my blend hand is almighty and powerful. And now I'm going to take Uninterrupted by MAC with the same E35 brush. All right, so going in with this brown, this is the 3502 palette on a different E35 brush. My crease, going to take Rustic, the darkest of browns, and this we're going to put, same with the E35 brush, in this socket. I'm gonna subtly diffuse it. I love going at it with a goat hair and then go back with the synthetic and just swap off depositing color and then uh, blending it in so, that so now i'm going to take cypress umber from the soft glam palette with a mac 224 brush amazing brush again for blending and with this i'm going to get into that socket in circular motions because i don't want to go too far out we're gonna go back in with uh, the select cover-up this time. Same mixing pan. So I'm gonna take the mixing pan and a Morphe E10 brush and I'm going to kind of carve out where we're gonna put that uh, color to really get that spotlight eye. And with this one, I like to do somewhat of a triangle shape. And I love doing cut crease or any um, really detailed eye look where I have to carve out anything with the Match Master because I find that it actually dries better. Okay. 
I'm actually going to use what I would set my foundation with. I think it's so cool to uh, that some items are sometimes dual purpose and we forget that. I'm going to take a very clean brush. This is the Morphe 200 brush. Again with that, and I'm going to actually just blend everything together like so. It's a Morphe 330 brush. It's kind of pointed because I'm going to do some really detailed work. I'm going to take Uninterrupted by MAC once again. And I want to blend this actually into the colors we laid down before. I found that this works so much better. Okay, so now for the fun part. So at the moment, this is my favorite, favorite wing liner brush. Can't you tell? Like this little, see that little line? This is going to get you through. This is going to see you through. So on the same mixing palette on the other side, because uh, re reuse, recycle. So I'm going to take LeBron. <sighs> Jackie, girl. What is this? This powder is literally butter. It is so smooth. I'm here for everything this has to offer. So we're gonna take Duraline by Inglot. This is a must. This is a absolute necessity. Add a couple drops to that. And we're gonna mix that up. Oh, this is so gorge. See, I be knowing, like, I was like, you know, I want to make a good wing liner bronze. So we're going to do a baby wing liner. You know what? We're going to go balls to the wall. Wherever this, wherever LeBron's take me, I'm just going to hand my life over. This is going to be magical. And we're getting this all over our lashes, guys, because sharing is caring. I'm actually going to do a thicker one. I'm here for all of this. I'm here for every single thing about this. Like, yes. Yes. Lashes are on, and now it's time to start on the face. So I know that Jackie is always doing a uh, trick where she puts powder on first and then goes in with her foundation. So I thought, wouldn't it be cool to actually take uh, a regular, just ordinary run-of-the-mill foundation and mix in La Peach. I'm going to take the Becca Ever Matte Shine Proof Foundation, and I'm in the color Mink. Take a little bit on there. This is so finely milled, guys. And when I tell you, you only need a drop to mix this together. So I actually go in and do a little bit of color correcting just to cancel out all those crazy spots. Now I'm going to go in with NW45 Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm going to conceal those areas. This is actually very orange on me and I'm taking that with the Morphe R33 brush. So because it is orange, uh, it does work conjunction with the peach luster to cancel out any of the discoloration I have. My favorite uh, foundation brush at the moment, this is a Makeup Forever 106 straight brush. Taking that what we mixed, we're gonna see if we get like some luminosity with this lip peach. Y'all, I think I might be glowy. I don't know. Maybe it's placebo. I think I'm glowy, but like the beauty blender will be the determiner. I really think I'm on to something. Let me find out. I 
don't know if this is picking up on camera. If your carpal tunnel isn't acting up, you ain't doing this right. I don't know y'all. I feel like I'm glowy. And now I'm going to take a Monde. Okay, that looks reliable. Again, with my beauty blender. Oh, so now I'm taking the MAC Mineralize Powder and I'm just going over with a Morphe R7 brush. And I like to go over my foundation before I start to set that highlight because I find that because I'm such a dark, because I'm such a dark skin girl, highlighting is like a very slippery slope. So uh, if I can help it, I don't like to push my luck with, uh, with highlighting. So I'm going to take the Laura Mercier powder and this is the deep one. A damp beauty blender and I'm going to do a very brief pressing I usually don't bake my powder but for the sake of time management I'm going to go ahead and continue with my under eyes while that kind of sits there and I'm just taking Cypress Umber again from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette a small uh, kind of a pencil brush this is just a small one from Mac doesn't really have a name and I'm just going to go back and do that under eye area so now we're going to go back with the same Morphe brush and I'm going to just briefly sweep that away. So because we already did some reverse contouring at first, we're going to go back in with a black radiance. This is just a pressed powder and this is Ebony Deep and this is a Morphe E4 brush. A Morphe 601 and go back in with the peach to finish off this marriage. I like to think of uh, the highlight, the contour, and the blush. Up. I'm honestly pleased with just that. I do notice this, uh, it's subtle, but this very peach shift, more on the pinky peach shift that goes on with the little peach highlighter, which I enjoy. I am here for all of this. The amount of the peach has me covered. All right, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop because we're, go we're going rogue. We said we're gonna do a little bit, but I just, I can't, I can't put the brush down. I can't put the brush down. Balance it out. Okay, so we're gonna put a little bit more, and that is it. That is it. Can we just the glow? Pray your hands. This is so fire. I'm telling you, run, don't walk. Tijan color baked blush in the color toasted almond. Love this color. Take a little bit on a. Uh, it's my rare number two brush. I love LeBron's. I absolutely love LeBron's. But I feel like Le Peach wants to be on the brow bone. I'm going to take Matte Cork Lip Liner. This is my favorite nude lip combo. A lip pencil in, uh, I think it's called My Flip Side by MAC. Complete. We're going to take Bow by MAC as well. And so now the look is completed, but the sleigh is not. I really wanted to try something very different on my channel and bring a... Uh, otherwise invisible accessory to life. And I feel like with this femme fatale, Jackie Aina artist couture, I feel like the final slate is not completed without perfume. And this is Prada Le Femme. <laughs> I wanted to come quickly and talk to you about the Prada Le Femme notes, which smells of vetiver, tuberose, frangipani, vanilla, and Lang Lane. But the vanilla, the frangipani, and the tuberose composition are what stands out to me. It also smells of a vibrant and yet ethereal sophistication, making it a perfect choice for this look. Amazing every single day fragrance. This is such a boss, such a grown, such a like 
great credit score, just, you know, actually reads the terms and conditions. This is such an amazing fragrance. This totally encapsulates this look. I feel like the sleigh is not complete without it. Please also comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I just want to be one with look each. I feel like honey boo boo when I do that. I feel like such. <laughs> I just feel like. Plus, we're just gonna melt everything in. I feel like whenever I'm applying Fix Plus, Nikki tutorials like appears in the background, like egging me on. Do the most. Yeah, I know that person that was like beating on the tables and they knew like the Eclipse beat by heart. That was your girl. Is it possible to be two to all